Hi, so today I want to talk about how to talk to someone with a stammer. Um, obviously I need to preface this by saying that everyone with a stammer is an individual first, so someone might really like you to follow the tips that I'm going to share in the video, whereas someone else may not like it. Everyone has their own individual characteristics, their own experiences, um, and their own thoughts and feelings on how they like people to talk to them. You can use these tips for if you think your child is developing a stammer or if you want to talk to someone who's your own age or older that you know has a stammer and you're a bit anxious about, you know, how to go about it. So firstly, there's different types of stammers. I'm just going to go over these briefly so that you can recognise them. So the first one is repetitions and it's probably the one we're most familiar with. So it would be, you know, p p p p peter um, the next one is prolongations, so I'm going to the library. And the last one is blocks, so that's more like struggling to get the word or the sound out. So I'll see you tomorrow. The basic rule of how to talk to someone with a stammer is to act like they're not stammering. So if they have a repetition or a block and they can't get the word out, just act in your head like there's a pause in time obviously it doesn't mean to freeze your body so if someone stammers it's not a game of musical statues you know you don't need to freeze exactly in the position that you were but just act natural and act like they're still talking don't ask them to slow down or to think about what they're saying this sort of puts more pressure on someone with a stammer um, and can make it harder for them to get the words out keep eye contact with someone if they're stammering um, don't look away like you're really embarrassed for them it's nothing to be embarrassed about so Keep eye contact, you know, again, it's sort of like if someone had paused the conversation when they were stammering, you would be maintaining eye contact. Don't tell them the word that you think they're trying to say. Um, I know I met someone with a stammer who actually liked when people supplied the word and then they could just move on to the next word they wanted to say. But in general, most people don't like it. It's kind of like being interrupted. If you were in the middle of saying, I like to go to school, and when you were saying, I like to go to school, and someone just interrupted you and said school. Don't hurry them up by, you know, saying like, oh, come on, come on, just say it. Again, that puts more pressure on someone with a stammer or any speech difficulty and can make it harder for them. Try to be understanding, you know, it's not their fault that they're stammering. If you have a young child, don't make them aware that they're stammering by saying anything that could alert them to the fact that they're stammering or having difficulty getting words out. There are some therapy programs where you will be doing this, but these would be implemented by a therapist and so like you would only do these if a therapist has recommended a certain course of treatment for your child. Um, also if you have a child try not to say talk properly this is going to alert them to the fact they're stammering and if there's something wrong with their speech. Another important note is that a lot of children when they're developing language can go through what we call normal non-fluency and this is stammers but they tend to grow out of it. Most children do grow out of it. If you are worried, do make an appointment with a speech and language therapist or pathologist and they'll be able to assess um, you or your child and advise you on the best course of treatment. Thank you very much for watching.